Welcome to the Borderlands Complete Story. Now, we want to cover everything that the Borderlands lore has to offer. So in order to do that, we're going to need to cover all of the comic books. And don't worry, while there is only four prequel comic books, there is a whole series of comic books that explains so much more, such as the fall of Firestone, and how did Tannis get into the vault? We're going to be covering both of those very soon. But we need to end our original run where we discussed how the original Vault Hunters got onto the bus. And like I said earlier, I literally mean how they got onto the bus, because this comic book basically explains how they all got on the bus with Marcus that day. Brick didn't say a word when he walked onto the bus, but when asked by Lilith what his name was, he simply handed her a brick. He then walked to the bus's window to just remember how he got here. What long journey did Brick have to take to get on the bus that day? Well, his story begins on a completely different planet, long before this. Brick was a bandit, and he was on his way to raid a local town. They came in guns blazing, throwing the locals into the dirt, and their boss climbed up on a statue in the middle of town, and he declared, Gather round, gather round, citizens of anywhere yet nowhere. My bargain will be tough but fair, but do not stare, lest you be met with my glare. But do not despair all, all we ask is you come to bear the children from your care. While this is going on, two of the bandits groan in agony. He's doing that rhyming thing again. And almost as if they knew this was going to happen, all of the villagers just stare at that head bandit. He sighs and simply says, We're here to kidnap your children. Pay us a bunch of money to get them back. After an hour passes, they round up all of the children, but the man who will later become known as Brick just sits down in the center of town. What are you doing? We've got the kids. Let's get out of here, the bandit leader tells him. But Brick refuses to move, and the bandits decide to just leave him behind. So the locals lock him up in the local jail cell. Once nightfall hits, Brick takes a single swing at the cell wall, and he walks out. He walks right out of town with an elderly man asking him what he's doing, and he turns back to him, and he simply says, I'm getting your kids back. Brick climbs up and over the mountains, and he hikes the whole way to the bandit camp. And once he arrives, the bandit leader yells at him, Come crawling back, huh? We were good to you! We gave you food and water with no questions asked. Why would we just take you back now? And Brick makes a fist. No children! He shouts as he punches the leader across the face. He then single-handedly takes out every single bandit in the camp, and he walks the children back to the town the next morning. Before he can leave the town, one of the children runs back up to him. I thought you could use a dog. Her name is Priscilla. So Brick takes the dog, and he leaves the town. We now go back to the bus driving to Sanctuary. Years later, and on a completely different planet, Brick just grabs at the necklace he has around his neck, the one with Priscilla's paw still attached to it. Thank you for joining us for these prequel comic books explaining how the original Vault Hunters got onto the bus. Next, we're going to be doing the original Borderlands game, and then we'll be covering more of the comics. Like I said, they have a comic about the fall of Firestone, and they have a comic about how Tannis got to the vault. I'm really excited to bring those to you, and I hope you're as excited as I am. Don't forget, we're on Twitter, at Eligible Monster, where you can chat about anything with us, and we have many other channels, which you'll find in the description down below. I'm Benny for Eligible Monster, and I'll see you guys next time.